Let's talk about the best core exercise you're probably not doing. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Most of the exercises you do in the gym, like a squat, a deadlift, a clean, a push press, they're all in sort of one plane of motion, up and down. That's called the sagittal plane. Rarely are we stressing our body in a side to side or frontal plane. And when you don't optimize the frontal plane mechanics, you can often leave yourself open for weak links that hinder your performance and increase risk of injury. Think about it like this. If you caught a snatch and then we're a little bit off balance, which sometimes happens, especially when we go heavy and you have to take a step, you have to challenge yourself in the frontal plane. Or what about walking out a really heavy squat? Every step you take is challenging your frontal plane side to side mechanics. And if you don't have that strength and stability in that plane, again, increased risk of injury and problems in performance. So how do we challenge frontal plane stability? We do carries. So what you're gonna do is grab a kettlebell, a dumbbell, something light. You don't have to go very heavy because just very lightweight is a big challenge on your spine to keep it from tipping over. So your cue, stay upright. Keep one finger into your side right here. And here's your cue, diaphragmatic breath. You're going to not draw in. I don't wanna see this transverse abdominus drawing your belly button in. We breathe and push the hand sideways. That's how we create optimal stability and stiffness for all the different movements that we're doing in the gym, our squats, our deadlifts, our cleans. We create that lateral expansion. Once that's stiff, then you're gonna slowly start walking, staying upright. Now, breathing. <sighs> Diaphragmatic power breathing. Don't let this get weak. So every once in a while, if you want to, take that finger, poke yourself in the side, make sure this is getting nice and stiff. Now pause for a second, mid stride. What we're doing, in maintaining that pelvis in this parallel position right here to the ground is working the interplay between the glute medius on the stance leg in the QL, this muscle in the low back on the opposite side, in the connection between those two to keep the pelvis level. Had this muscle not been working well here, what happens? The pelvis drops and then he can't swing his leg through. So carries keep the body engaged and stabilized in the frontal plane. If we don't have that stability, the pelvis starts moving wonky. And again, that's what we're trying to clear up. So pelvis level, this QL works with this glute medius and we keep walking forward. Something like this programming wise, you're gonna be doing maybe three to four rounds of 45 seconds to a minute. That's all you need to do, not a ton. And this is step one. Let's say you can build up, but you only have so many weights. Well, you could go heavier or pause upside down. Now, because the weight of the bell is in the, uh, up in the bell area, not in the handle right there, it's gonna be much more challenging. If you don't have the ability to link fist into the shoulder complex, into the core, down into the pelvis, what's gonna happen? As you start walking, the bell's gonna fall over. So again, this is teaching you that full body linkage, how to be an athlete and link your entire body. We're not here trying to do an isolated ab exercise. I'm trying to teach you how to work functional core stability so that this turns into a better squat, a better deadlift, a better clean, or having the insurance that if you do get out of position, which happens sometimes, boom, you can take that step and have that insurance stability. Or just functionally throughout the day, walking through a busy airport, and we wanna be able to stay upright and not teeter side to side like you saw earlier. So here's the deal. The suitcase carry, one of my favorite exercises, something that has been talked about by the greats, Dr. Stuart McGill, Brian Carroll, who squatted 1,306 pounds. He uses suitcase carries to challenge his core. So there are certain exercises that are must haves in your training. You don't have to do them every single day. Once a week, twice a week can be excellent. A couple times to 45 seconds to a minute is perfect. Get that core working within the frontal plane, the often weak link in most people's training because we're doing everything in that vertical sagittal plane. I hope you guys liked today's quick video on our favorite core exercise that most of you aren't doing. If you guys enjoyed it, please head on over to Graham's YouTube channel at The Barefoot Sprinter. Give him a subscribe because we're putting out a lot of great content together. And let us know if there's any questions that you have for us in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, happy carrying. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people have